Hi everyone and welcome back to my little corner of the youtube universe. Today I am going to be making even more cards with the Picket Fence Studios January release. Today's cards all feature the Swallowtail Beauty Butterfly stamp. It is a gorgeous big big stamp and um, I'm just gonna jump straight in here and stamp up these cards. I'm using my Misty because I, um, I'm also using watercolor uh, cardstock which is a bit textured so I didn't feel like I was going to get a very good imprint the first time. I did realize as well that my ink pad needed re-inking so I did that halfway through. I also have um, heat embossed these with a clear embossing powder on top on five of the six. On the sixth one I used a black twinkle from WOW Embossing Glitter and uh, it didn't go exactly according to plan but we'll get to that later. And for easy breezy colouring, I am using the Ken Oliver Crafts Colour Burst Powders. These are incredibly pigmented and a little goes a long way, as you will see along the uh, video that I am not always uh, completely restrained. I'm jumping in with my favourite colour, which is blue, and then adding a little bit of uh, green to kind of make a little bit of a turquoisey colour. And I was loving the results right away when I was making this one. I There is something about blue that just makes me so, so happy. Um, and it, it's this is actually done in real time, so it's... Um, it's you, the way you see the, the powders sort of mix in with the water is how it happens in in real life. And I'm now going in with a little bit of kitchen towel just to kind of mop up a little bit of the excess powder because if you drop too much in the same spot, it just kind of goes really, really, really dark. So you need to reactivate that with water. And as my panel was already wet I and I had a lot of color on that piece of tissue, I then dabbed that to... Um, just add more color instead of like stopping and um, and starting. So now I'm going in with my second color and um, or a second card on second color and uh, for some reason even though I'm not a huge fan of purple I actually made two purple cards um, with these uh, powders but what I really love about these is that it's not just purple you get a little bit of pink and almost sort of um, like an iridescent color to it as well but it does help if you get the powder slightly more evenly than I managed in the, in this one. The fab thing about these powders as well is that if you feel like uh, it's just too concentrated, just spritz a little bit more water and the colors will just kind of start doing their magic again. Not a single card that you make with these is ever gonna be exactly the same and that I think is pretty special. And now we're doing the rest of them. And this one, I must admit, when I was putting that together, I thought, oh my gosh, that is going to go in the bin because it was just crazy, crazy busy. But as it turns out, when it was dry, it is one of my favorites. And on this um, embossed or the glitter embossed one, what I thought I was going to do was kind of just really take it up because obviously it's not enough shimmer on there already, right? So I decided to add a little bit of gold as well and uh, I'm almost always, whenever I use want to add gold, I use the Starry Colors palette from, um, or palette from um, um, Cure Take and this is Gansai Tanbi watercolors. So and this palette I've had for years and years and years and there is so much color left I don't think I'm ever going to need to replace this one, ever. And I have had, um, well I'm using here uh, a couple of different paintbrushes because I wanted to have one completely clean so I could just add more water into the uh, the colour and then I'm using one which I'm trying to keep clean in between to then pick up that paint. It, it's it's kind of difficult to explain how I was thinking this or how I was, my, my process if you like, but I'm hoping it makes sense as you see it go along. Right. I decided it needed more shimmer because the, the sometimes the dangerous thing with these these colors is that when they're wet they're not always as shimmery as they will be when they are dry so um, you will see what I mean when I show this uh, later on when it's completely dry. Oh 
Oh, another fun thing as well with these powders is that in like the little gaps and uh, places where I didn't get any color, when I was going back in with the gold water, it added a really nice sort of lighter color. And I just, I really, really love the effect on that. So I decided to do another one as well, of course, as you do. So here we are, we're gonna use another um, gold. This one is light gold and there's probably, that one and champagne gold is probably my favorite. So what I meant before when I was mumbling on about jibber jabbering um, is that I use one paintbrush to add water to really get it sort of nice and wet to work with. And then I'm using another paintbrush to pick up that paint basically to transfer to my card. So I'm trying not to contaminate the um, the colors there, but sometimes I kind of get a little bit willy nilly with my uh, my coloring and um, you can see that I'm kind of, I'm going back and forth between the paintbrushes and the, the pots of water and the colors as well, because the light gold, as much as I love it, it wasn't showing up as much on the, on the screen one. But again, it was a little bit of an optical illusion because once it dried, it is like a shimmer fest and it actually turned out really really pretty and here it's still wet so you can't really really see it but I will show you close up again later on then when it came to sentiment I wanted to use I like your different colors and this is from one of the chameleon stamp sets and I stamped it up six times because I had six cards and cut those out into thin strips and then using my little um, work mat grid and the uh, ruler hack I glue these on with a little bit of liquid glue from uh, Lornfo in different places almost every single card has the sentiment strip in a different spot just to kind of you know they all got the same stamp and they all got the same sentiment but it's still nice to make them just slightly different and more individual and on that glittery card I decided to almost cover up the head because that's where most of the glitter powder kind of went a little bit astray now this is what I mean. Look at that shimmer. Now you didn't, you couldn't really see that when the card was so wet, but it is incredibly shimmery and lovely in real life. And with these two purple ones, again, I didn't think I was gonna like the darker one, but it is actually my favorite. So the thing to bear in mind when you're using these powders is that once it dries, it does actually dry and pales a little bit. They're still really rich and vivid though. And look at this one. I mean, I I really didn't think I was gonna like that one at all, but I think it is my favorite out of all of them, even over the blue one. And here, I normally don't say that is too shimmery, but I actually think this one is, I know, shock horror, how dare she say that, right? But anyway, it was nice to try and just to sort of see, you know, whether it was gonna work out or not. And maybe it would have worked with slightly less vivid colors and maybe less shimmer in the water coloring as well but there we have it and um these ones like i said if you use these powders you're never going to get a single one that look exactly the same so thank you for stopping by today and i really hope you enjoyed this video enough to give me a little thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel thank you so much for stopping by bye bye now